it's time to prepare yourself for Windows 11 24 Edge 2, whether you like it or not, because it looks like Microsoft has already begun forcing this update to everyone slowly, because I do have Windows 11 23 Edge 2 on VM, but I haven't got this update yet. Okay, so until now, we have this option called uh, get the latest updates as soon as they are available. When we have this option enabled, then you get the uh, 24H2 update. But now it doesn't matter. It is being forced. It's going to be the main mandatory update. So basically what's going to happen is that, yeah, uh, here is one screenshot. So when you check for updates, uh, it's going to automatically download and install the Windows 11 24H2 update. It's not a optional update anymore. So basically, slowly, you'll be forced to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. Again, whether you like it or not. And I think you should upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. I'm not saying right now because uh, you still have some time. So if you go to the lifecycle support page of Microsoft, here you'll see the Windows 11 versions release date and the end of life date. So you can see here Windows 11 21 H2 and 22 H2, they have already reached end of support in October 8, 2024 for the 22 H2. So basically every new major release of Windows 11 or every new major version will get support only for two years. And after that, you'll have to upgrade to the next one. So right now, yeah, most people on Windows 11 are probably on 23H2. So you still have like almost a year now. It's already 2025 January and you have uh, the time until November 11, basically almost one year. So if you're the person who just want more time to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2, maybe you can do something uh, to stop this update. I can give you guys one tip to actually stop Windows 11 24H2 if you're not ready yet. First, use this tool called WinUtil from Chris Titus Tech. You can go to this GitHub page and then copy this code, the first one, okay? And then run Terminal as Administrator or PowerShell as Administrator and paste this code here. And it's going to launch this tool called WinUtil. And in here, just go to Updates section, okay? Here, we have three different options, default, security settings, and disable all update. So you should not disable update. It's not recommended. But what you can do here is actually uh, select the second option, security settings, which will give you only security update. And we all know 24H2 is not a security update. It's a feature update. So you can hold off uh, this update until you're ready to upgrade to 24H2. Maybe by that time, it will get more polished and all that, you know, okay. I'm already using 24H2. I had a couple of problems, but now I don't see any issues. And you can actually go to this article from Microsoft where they, you know, list the known issues in Windows 11 24H2 plus uh, it gives you information about whether it is fixed or not. So uh, just click on known issue and here select games might stop responding on Windows 11 24 H2. It looks like it is fixed. I don't know which games, but it has been fixed on January 17th, which is just recent. What is, what is the date today? January 18. <laughs> okay. So just day before making this video, this issue has been fixed. Maybe these are the same games. Uh, people were reporting that it was not working or crashing and all that. So yeah, uh, you can also use this tool called WinToys. It's available on Microsoft Store and then go to health option and then go to system updates section. Here you'll get same options as the uh, WinUtil. Uh, here you can disable the Windows updates or set it to manually. So you'll have to check for updates manually or you can set it to receive only security updates, no feature updates, no, nothing like that. Only the security updates. <laughs> this has more detail here uh, in the WinUtil from Chris Titus. So if you select the security updates only, uh, what it will do is actually the feature updates will get delayed 
by two years. And we know the uh, life cycle of every Windows 11 version is only two years. So it will actually then automatically download the feature update because the current version of Windows will no longer receive any updates. Uh, this will stop the Windows 11 24H2 update until the 23H2 reaches the end of support, basically. So this is probably the best way to, you know, stop Windows 11 24H2 update right now if we don't want it. I mean, you still have, again, as I said, almost a year of time. Uh, yeah. So yeah, take your time uh, and keep eye on the, uh, you know, known issues and all that. I think most of the issues has been fixed in 24H2. Uh, I have been using Windows 11 24H2 as soon as it came out. Uh, I actually did a clean install. I ran into some problems, but right now I had no issues. Whenever I have any issues with Windows, you know me, I make video about that. So yeah, right now it's running perfectly. I don't play games that much. I only have a couple of games. I can't test all the games. So yeah, I have heard that some games do not work. But again, if you go into the known issues uh, section in this Microsoft's article, here you can see just just recently, <laughs> one day ago, I think they fixed the uh, gaming issue. Some of the games that were not running or were crashing or something. Yeah, it says here select games. So basically not all games, some games were actually broken in 24H2. So basically right now what's happening is that Microsoft is trying to fix all the known issues and slowly also trying to force this update to everyone. I mean, soon the other versions of Windows 11 Basically, there is only one version left, 23H2, will also reach the end of support. So there is no other way. You'll have to upgrade to 24H2. Yeah, that's it. But again, as I said, you have time. So if you want to delay this update even further until the end of support of 23H2, you should use the WinUtil and you'll be good to go. Yeah, by then I think uh, the 24H2 will get more polished. Even though, again, as I said, I have been using 24H2 ever since it came out. Uh, I, I ran into some issues, but right now I, I don't have any issues. But that doesn't mean that you won't face any issues. You might because you're upgrading. You know, it's always a good thing to actually do a clean install of any, you know, major update. So that's just my recommendation because maybe you have some old drivers that aren't up to date that might cause some issues like blue screen of death or something. If possible, do a clean install and it will give you better experience for real. But if you don't have a time, like you have a lot of things on your system, make sure that everything is up to date, like your drivers and everything, you'll be good to go. Yeah, and that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.